Welcome back to One Shot! No, no little story thing at the start today, because I am just continuing in the same instance of the game as last time, so that'll be for next time, if there is anything like that again. But today, as I said last time, we'll go back and do some things where we have been already before I start diving into this northern area and the, the entire village and the infirmary and whatever else might be here. But before we just teleport away, let's just read this note, why not? There's something weird about the robots who, who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. Oh, I see. So we're taking the gas to the guy that can row, maybe. The few who work directly with gas harvesting, with gas harvesting, look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere? Or am I just seeing things? Okay, well, once again, being quite obvious with the, the puzzles and stuff. Do we even need the gas mask in this area? I guess we do. Why is the gas here in the north, even though, like, it was only localized in those two zones, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh! Oh, it's not here, but it is in here, so this is also the, the gas zone. I see, so if we go down, we'll probably see gas vents. Yep, okay. Alright, never mind. That makes sense, then. And if we just keep going down, we'll just get to the same area where she had to return. Yep, right here. I can't go any further. There's gas. Okay. Interesting. Then I don't even need to fast travel. We can just walk up here. Yep. Here we go again. Let's check in with the robot. Hello. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. I, I know. I am watching over the plants. Enjoy, guy. So if we go just straight to the mines, let's do that first. No robots here. And shrimp jars. Let's just see the gas. Okay, can't do the gas with a shrimp. So it probably is just used for the, the robots, I would imagine. Safety violation. God damn it. And let's check in with this chick. Hello. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. No, I, I do want assistance. Here, have a bottle of smoke. God damn it. Strange journal! Hey, can you read this? Excuse me, miss. I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize this writing system. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Although, this insignia... Hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Oh, it's like the queen! The fucking... It's, it's basically... I don't know why the clover, it's not the queen from like Alice in Wonderland, that's the heart, but it just made me think of like, oh, royalty, the scepter and all of that stuff. So maybe that's once you get to the very center of the, the place, then you can use it. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Okay, same thing. So that's nothing. All right, interesting. And these guys are dead. They don't last very long. Let's gas them up. Nope. Don't want to gas. Alright. Well, we got some minor information there. That's good. So I guess that's really all I wanted to check down here, right? There's not really anything else I wanted to do before we go up through the, the gas again. I mean, I could just go to the... The rowboat, ro the robot, right away, and have him take us away, because I assume the gas would work, but... Eh, I want to continue exploring first. Even, I don't think you can do it right away, you probably do need something else, but... I want to do it anyway, just fully explore stuff. And yeah, all of these gas vents. 
nothing new or interesting. But we did have a big building coming up here. Some gas vents above it. But that's kind of it. Yep. And then the screen ends. Alright. Well, let's check what's in here. Another factory, I see. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Hello, guy. But what is this? It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Okay, rubber gloves. Gloves designed to prevent chemical damage. So maybe, maybe you can't use the smoke right away. You have to like mix the smoke with something else to make like an oil-based ointment and then put that on the rust and it'll fix his joints and get rid of the rust. I don't know. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair service have, have services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative me method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents. Acidic gas. Blue phosphor. Rare form. Instructions. Number one. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's what I did? That's the end of the page. Oh. So we need to mix it with some kind of blue phosphor. So shrimp jar, I'm thinking, but I don't know. I, I couldn't do it right now. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Yep, big metal boxes. Okay. The door is all boarded up. The boards seem loose though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. I was just gonna say, like, as soon as I saw this, just click on it and then crowbar it, but they just had to go and be all, all obvious about it. Not that I'm complaining, but still, good thing I kept this crowbar. It's a little bit too much, I feel. Like, it's hardly even a puzzle game when they're being that obvious about everything and just telling you what to do, literally telling you every step of the way. But it'll probably change a little bit. I mean, they didn't tell you exactly what to do with the battery, so you had to figure out some stuff. A bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. I see. Wait. Oh, I thought she said something else, but no. This robot looks kind of rusty. Let's cure this robot. Nope. Rusty. 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 Page ripped out. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. Get the gas and blue phosphor, mix it up, and then there you go. Notes, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required, so you have a time limit. You have to get it to the guy quickly, or it will just uh, separate, and then you have to do it over. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. Resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Shalag. Yep, I'm gonna fucking kill your hands. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh, do we like sponge up the jelly, maybe? That could work. Yeah, maybe we do that. Or we just take it to one of the shrimp jars. That could also be a thing. Yeah, okay. So that's that. 
But before we do any of this stuff, I want to explore this little town over here. And see if we can find anything else that we need. Also, I guess if I try to equip these gloves, I'll wear them when I have to. Yeah. That's, that's it. Hi, guy. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah! I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? That's a good name. I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Can we please find out what taming actually means soon? By the way, some robots may start following you around the settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Oh boy, stay safe. Do you want some, uh, bottle of smoke? Oh god, hello. Jesus Christ, you're fast. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Uh, what? Oh god. So you're just gonna follow me? Yes. Until you safely reach a building of your desi destination. Alright. Enjoy. What if I go this way? Ah, he's gone. And if I come back? Is he gonna show up from up here again? No. Maybe if I talk to this guy again. Yep, there he goes. I don't know if that's because I talked to the guy or just, uh, in general. Hello. Boop. Lots of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. It looks a little... it's looking a little dim. Okay, let's just try the sponge. Flat sponge with a rough surface. Oh, it's another one of these small machines. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Looks like they're evacuating a few tamed robots. The few tamed robots we have, have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to... something with squares? I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Oh. Are these all like dormitories? Tiny sleeping chambers? Oh, can I climb? Nope. I'm scared of ladders. Um, okay. That's it. You can't look inside. No, stop it. Get up the ladder, Nico. She, she doesn't want to. Okay, so will he start following us again? Yeah, there he is. Hello. Oh. And we got another train car looking thing here. Move. Get, get the crap out of the way. Jesus. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. I'm pretty sure these are computers now. Okay. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. 
some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely do some sort of electrical- wait, what do you mean, likely do some sort? Isn't it likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference? I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. So all of the, like, stationary computers and stuff just broke down, but the robots are fine for now. And yeah, that's where we were. Number 9, or maybe it's 119? I can't go here, can I? Nope, of course not. I thought I would have more robots following me, like three or four. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Tiny shrimp. She is scared of ladders. She is scared of ladders. Let's just look up here. Just make sure we see all of them in case there's like one that has a light on or something random. And this was barracks or dormitory 3 or 113 and this is 118 a picture of a robot you know i've never been been around so many robots before shellag or any robots at all I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. <laughs> sure. What? Try talking like a robot. Um. Ahem. Beep boop. I am a robot, and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hehe. <laughs> that is not correct. Oh, hi. Hey, would this not have happened if I just said, yeah, they're neat. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Shlag, you made me look silly. That's my job. Picture of a robot. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay, goodbye. How's it hanging? Hello. Hi. He is stationed there. And she is scared of ladders. Oh, okay, still talk to him, but can't climb the ladder. And here's the infirmary. Let's wait with that. Hello. Hello, organic person who is alive. Yeah, that's the guy I talked to before. And here's 117. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. The author, okay. Hey, sweetie! Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aw. Aw. Okay, no one here. Ah, eh, whatever. Scared of ladders. Let's not bother. Hello, Unit RT-3847201 reporting for duty. It seems that you already have an assigned escort, Unit RM-2883417. Would you like me to leave? 
You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until we reach your dormitory. Can we, like, get them to fight? Fight over who is supposed to be escorting me? Come on, guy. Yeah, here he is. Are you guys not supposed to go in buildings? Correct. We are built for outdoor use only. Entering buildings is not part of our programming. That's strange. Oh god, so I could actually, like... These guys could just completely get you stuck. If I go in here... Wait. There we go. And now I'm just stuck. Because he wants to follow me. But I guess you can, like, shove your way out eventually. I was also planning on fast traveling out if he just, like, went into me constantly and never budged. Yeah, you can get out relatively easily. Alright, let's do a quick check in the infirmary before we leave it off here. So, left here is uh, just the next screen. Wait, there's another dormitory. 116? 110? A robot. It's beyond repair. I'm scared of ladders. Let's just look here as well. Yeah, nothing. Evacuation? At such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Sucks to be you, guy. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Okay, maybe that'll actually be useful at some point. Sponge it up. Nope. And finally, infirmary. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks? Well, that's good to know that Nico isn't dying. What's this? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken and rust rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. I see, so syringe into jelly into gas bottle. Shaky shaky. That's probably how you do it. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Lots of little sick pods, I guess. Okay. And nothing else here. Alright, so I'm gonna try fast traveling to the docks. And I will just check in with Mr. Rowboat Man. No, wait, he's further down, I think. Right here? Hang in there. Bottle of smoke. Okay, so that doesn't work. And if I try. Oh man, should I do this right now? I think I'll wait. I'm gonna try the sponge on the, the vent of gas, probably won't work. Then I wanna try the sponge on the giant jelly thing, probably won't work. And then we'll do the syringe. The needle is particularly long, so we'll do the jelly, which, I mean, the jelly might be sentient for all we know. That might be horribly, horribly cruel, just sucking out its innards and sticking it in a bottle of smoke and shaking it to apply to a robot. But, for now, I will go back to bed. And we'll leave it off here for today. Next time, we'll see if we get another dream when we start up the game again. So, I'm not sleepy anymore. Shit. Oh, no. Really? Fuck, you can't save again? You can only save, like, once? Oh, no. That's a bit of an issue. Oh, man. Go to fuck to sleep, Nico. Well, there's not much to do except just hit the X here. And we'll just find out what happens, I suppose. So if I click es escape now... This action will record your progress in this world. To return to this world again, you need to relaunch the application. Proceed? Yes or no? 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to try and do this in one sitting at some point, I guess, just to see if there's any difference to that, but... Guess we'll find out what happens now! Bye!